This is CX1104, Chapter 7.1.1, Least Squares. Today, we'll talk about consistency in a system of equations. The problem we want to solve is again AX equals to B. And by least squares, we're talking about find X given A and B. The word least squares means find the best b sorry the best x that approximate b now there are several situation first a is a matrix here the word r means real number and as you remember, m by n is telling us the size of the matrix where m is the number of rows and n is the number of columns. So it is A is a real matrix. X is a vector of Rn so that A by X we can perform this operation, matrix row, matrix and column vector multiplication. B is Rm because it must then agree that B, this is a M by N matrix multiplied by N by 1, therefore we should be getting a M by 1. So the dimension of B must be M by 1 in this equation. And again, if we are multiplying a real matrix by a real column vector, this is real and this is real, then B must be real. What is the idea of consistent equations and inconsistent equation. So the word above system basically means that we have many rows of A. So the A's are the equations, systems of equations. Consistent means that whether the left hand side AX agrees with the right hand side B. So if it is agreeing, AX equals to B, then we have a consistent equation. And if it doesn't agree for whatever reason, and we'll see it later, then it's called an inconsistent equation. Right. Now, depending on the size of M by N, so this is number of rows. And here is the number of column 1, 2, until N. So when M is greater, greater than N, means that it is a tall and thin matrix. Then we have more equations because each row represents one equation. We have more equations than unknowns. The unknowns are the number of columns because later on you realize that the unknowns we are talking about is the X. X1 to Xn. How many unknowns are there? So there are more equations that are unknown in this. And this is an overdetermined system. And that's a typical case we will have to face in uh, machine learning. Now, when m is equals to n, then it actually m n. This is a square matrix. And when m is less than n, where there are only fewer equations, fewer equations than unknown we have more unknowns, then the system is underdetermined. So this is overdetermined on the left and underdetermined on the right. With this background, we can talk about consistency. The idea of a consistent equation is that B can be solved by given A and finding X. That is, we can find X unknown, we can solve for these values, and then the answer would be B. The system of equations given A and B are consistent. I'll give you an example, maybe 1, 1, 
x1, x2 equals to, let's say, 2. Now, if I give you another 1, 1, another equation, and now if I give you 3, then the equations are not consistent because the first row, 1, 1 tells us x1 plus x2 equals to 2. The second equation, x1 plus x2 equals to 3. So, so this, the word inconsistency comes from this idea. What about the interpretation in math? Well, when we say that B can be formed by a linear combination of A, that means A times whatever X is equals to B, then the system is consistent. Okay. The other way to think about it is that once you can find a linear combination of A columns, you're actually saying that B is in the column space of A. So B is formed by columns of A, some linear combination. Therefore, it is a column space of A. Another way to find out that this is true is find the rank of A. Rank of A means the number of independent, independent columns or independent rows. And by augmenting, by creating a matrix, A augment B basically means that you take all the A's and you take one column of B and this is the augmented matrix and you find its rank. And if it is rank, it is equals to A matrix. Then basically, by adding one extra column of B, the rank did not change. And of course, this is telling us that the B again The B, again, is in the column space. That means B is in the column space of A. Now, let's discuss the right-hand side, inconsistent equation. The easiest way to understand is B is not found by a linear combination of A because, in this example, 2, 3 cannot be formed by these columns or n combinations of this column. You can try to multiply x1 multiplied by the first column, x2 multiplied by the second column and add them up and there is no way you can get this value. The columns of B is not in the column space of A. So there is the idea here. Now when can it occur? It usually typically occurs when m, the number of equations is much greater than n. So it typically occurs. Okay and that is what happened in our machine learning where we have more equations than unknown and then we cannot find a solution. A solution means that ax will always be equals to b. So all these are interpretations of when an inconsistent equation happens. The rows of A's are dependent, but the B's are not consistent. So that was the problem of 1, 1, 1, 1. Rows of A are dependent because in fact they are the same. Or let's try 2, 2. And this is x1 and x2. And then the previous example, maybe we give a 2. And then... We have another two. So the first row gives two. The second row, even though it's doubled, still gives two. So the right hand side is inconsistent. The B's are inconsistent. And the last interpretation is by adding an extra column, then the rank of this augmented matrix has increased by one as compared to rank of A. It means that B is not in the column space of a. So this interpretation is actually the same as the first line.